Wow! I'm glad my friend sent me this. So, um, I'm going to say something right now because it's, it's, it's the truth. Some brothers get tired. And what I mean by tired is this. You know, it's like, not all sisters nag. Not all sisters bitch. Not all sisters flake out. But see, it's just the average mentality of the young male or the black man. It's like, they don't have time for that. They don't have time for clashing attitudes. In other words, I've been telling people the mentality of the black woman is similar to the mentality of a black man. A man is not going to just rush out and be with another man. Why you want a woman acting like one? Why you want a woman trying to be so much in charge that she tries to change who you are? Once you allow yourself to be changed, then you are not the man you are. And white women do it too. They do it differently. They do it a hell of a lot differently than black women. But the moral of the story is this. Most women, I don't know about you because you're not my woman, try to change their man. Most young men are headstrong. They do not want to accept change. And shit, is right. Why in the fuck should I change to be with somebody? Why don't you fucking change to be with me? You know, and that's how shit is. And when you got two minds that think similar, we both tougher than nails. They used to boil us and shit to make our skin thick. You know what I'm saying? We the same fucking person. That's why people can't understand the philosophy between black men and black women. We're all headstrong. We all want more than what we've ever had. So we all have that mentality, the human mentality to want more and some men have that fuck it mentality because men are different than women we can live with a hell of a lot less than a woman can live we can man we can jump up out the bed wash our face throw some water on our balls and be good for the day we don't have to comb our hair we don't have to put on no perfume we don't have to do shit we can go outside stand up and piss we don't have to worry about hiding behind something we don't have those minuscule worries we don't have to worry about the house looking perfect we don't have to worry about that because we don't care we have our own problems and our own philosophy on how things should be and then when we try to put that across to our women Regardless of what color they are, they're like, I don't agree with you. I don't think so. And then it's like you you have too many of them battles with your women, and then you're going to want to deal with somebody else who's coming at you from a different direction. Brothers leave sisters because sisters act like sometimes they're always right. For the most part, if a woman makes X amount more than you, you're wrong. She's right. That mentality of, I got this, I should be in charge because I put this here, is, it's a male thing. Men get dominant when they put more in the house than the woman. Now when the women now earn more and earn as much or whatever as men, and they're doing a little bit more than a man, that dominance over a man the, the other guy be like, man, I ain't conforming to this shit. Fuck that. I'm finna go someplace where it's a little easier. Where someone's tolerance is a little different. But see, these other women of other colors are still... They, it take them a little bit longer to get to the point where fuck it, I'm doing this, give me my shit. My way or no way. It takes a little longer for them to go there. It's hard to explain. But... If you're an adult enough person to understand, your brain is a computer. Every relationship you go into, you put it in your brain. You dissect it. And you go, this is what I'll take from a woman. This is what I won't take from a woman. This is what I can do. This is what I can't do. This is what I want to do. This is what I need to do. You bounce all of that shit out and you give her that one that you come up with. But these cats are like, fuck that. I need a pair of new fucking shoes. Who gonna get them? The one who can fucking pay for shoes. And shoes is nothing to her. I don't give a damn shit. I buy my nigga some shoes. Fuck it. He's my nigga. I'll never forget one time. I had moved to this town. 
and I just pretty much got to town and I got this job and I was working at this place and I worked with this girl and the curiosity of a black man was all she ever had it's all she wanted that was her fascination in me to see is it like this is it like that why do you move this way why do you do that why do you move your hips you don't do like this he just does this he just does this and she broke the whole comparison down to me I'm like damn I'm a fucking living study. And then I began to study people and dissect just like that girl did me. And I've come to some conclusions just like she did. And people, I tell you, you analyze your situation. If you've been with a thousand black women, 15, 10, 5, 3, 4, whatever, not, each one of them are not the same. Mentally, they're different. Each woman is just like a man. If I like this lady for her eyes, that's all I'm going to be fixated on. If I like her for any other part, then that's all I'm going to be fixated on. And people say, oh, no, it's not about parts. No, no, no. Yeah, it's attraction. What will you deal with just to keep that part that you like? Oh. Yeah, you are supposed to get ready already. I told you. So um, I'm going to go outside and start working on my little um, studio I'm building. I'm building a whole little thing for my little endeavor here, my little internet thing. And then the young dude told me on the internet the other day, he says, uh, look at you, old nigga, trying to get fame off YouTube. I'm just trying to tell the truth on YouTube. Because there's too many people out there bullshitting on YouTube. And the bottom line, as I said, black men and black women have similar mindsets. And like I'm saying, when you're doing something for somebody, and everything is perfect and everything is equal on a certain level where everybody can you know what I'm gonna talk to my baby we're gonna get this done when you guys got it like that when you got your shit equal and you down when you guys are tight then it don't matter shit you ain't tripping off him being black y'all ain't black you're happy oh I gotta oh my black man is so good to me Oh, my black woman is so good to me. Shit, I'll be like my woman, my, my girl. But when you ain't happy, I had black bitch, that you know, I had black hat, you know. Come on. This this is <laughs> it's pitiful. And um uh, got a friend on YouTube, man. She cool. And she doing her YouTube thing. And brothers hate on. Like you said, an opinionated black woman, man don't want to hear that shit. We hear the shit at home. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You hear it at home. You know what I mean? And women, and you wonder, why would a woman stay with a no good man? Because he deals with her. He puts up with her. He sees her when she's ugly. He sees her when she's beautiful. He sees her when she ain't nobody's friend. That's why they do it. That's the bottom line. The bottom line is this person can deal with me. He can put up with me. And that's how it is for a man. She can deal with my bullshit. She can put up with me. And people fail to just go to the root of it. Don't nobody want to be alone? And then you say, oh, black women can't get a good man. You have to make your man a good man. But the problem is, when you reprogram him, you fuck him up. To breaking him down stage, you do it wrong. And then all of a sudden he come back. He don't want that experience no more. Then he leave. Tastes a different flavor. Then he come home. Then you don't want to touch him because he didn't touch one of them. Then they got the sneaky freaks. The sisters that that uh, don't do nothing, but then as soon as you go out, they're doing everything. They, they was like, damn, you ain't never did that before. I ain't never did that before. You doing it like you're supposed to do it. Come on. It's like, stop lying. You guys want to make us a certain way. We want to make you a certain way. And the bumps in the middle. Ain't no working together when everybody trying to change the landscape. That's what I'm trying to say. It is more simpler than we think. You've been too.